Backyard Adventures is less about specific destinations and, and really all about spending time together with people you love and care about and making memories. With that said, it's really fun when those memories happen to be in a unique place that you really enjoy. Utah was never on any bucket list for us, but coming back from a trip somewhere else out west, I have a layover in Salt Lake City, and I'm walking through the airport and the artwork from the national parks in Utah just blew me away. And I called mom and dad and said, okay, I know where we need to go. We need to go to Utah. And I don't know if they were really sold on the idea, but we went a few years ago, had an amazing time. 2020 rolls around, and we're supposed to go on a cruise for mom and dad's anniversary. But of course, that was taken out of our hands, naturally. And so we're, we're trying to decide, you know, do we, can we go anywhere? And we thought of Utah. We really wanted to share that with Joel and Jessica. And we said, you know, we're just gonna be crawling around caves and canyons. There's no reason we can't do that in a socially distant way. And so the results, a pretty amazing adventure together. Day one, we get to our campsite and we say, you know what, we're not gonna waste this first date. Let's just jump right into it. We're excited, why not? One of the good things about the internet and what I hope to contribute with Backyard Adventures is that you can share experiences and ideas for others to enjoy as well. And so we'd found online that there was a, a small canyon near our campground, so we just got right to it. So we went to Red Hollow. This is amazing. Judy, now this is the end of it if you don't I want to see. Come on. I'm trying. All right. You got to push your body against the wall and your feet against yeah, the side. Yeah, I think this is the end of the line for me. Yeah, somebody left the rope. Well, we can <laughs> keep going. I could take this rope and climb up that wall. But it ain't worth it. It was just really cool to walk through and see the different colors and textures and something we're certainly not going to see in Louisiana or Florida. We had a great time and just started day one with the, the, the setting the tone for the whole adventure. Of excitement. There was a hike right behind the campground that we could do. It just led up the edge of a, of a small cliff that we could look out over the campground and, and across the valley near us. very quickly because mom had a fall and, and had a little uh, injury there to, to start our first full day so that was a concern but she wouldn't slow down she wanted more this is my first wound from hiking where were first you day, <laughs> right behind the campground <clears throat> what happened I started down and it was sandy and my feet went and somehow put out. out this to help yeah, stop me. I know. It's great. Our second hike for the day was in a nearby area 
and mom assured us it's no big deal it's flat it's not a far walk we're just gonna go to this nice overlook take a look we probably should have known to be a bit skeptical she's got a little pack with her water we hear short not steep and <laughs> so we take off not prepared at all I'm gonna blame it on the elevation. I'm gonna blame it on the heat. I wanna think that's what it is, but it got really hot really quickly. So this is our first full day of vacation. We did a morning hike before breakfast, and then we tried to do a midday hike after breakfast. Somebody said, oh, it's mostly flat. <clears throat> but it's part of the country. It and flat. it didn't feel totally flat to me, but I'm not saying who said it was gonna and be flat. Like Louisiana hot. It's not Louisiana hot, but it's hot. So us soft inside worker people, it's hot. So day one, yeah. hike two. I'm just about sidelined, but we are, Joel's been a good sport, going to get the water and the vehicle, and so we're going to make it. But we had a cool canyon, slot canyon hike yesterday. We looked down to a really amazing canyon with rock formations today, so fun times all around. Just a little warm. That hike was, it, it really wasn't that steep and overwhelming, but I really believe the combination of the heat and the elevation got to us, got to me anyway. And it was a little scary because here we are, we're on this big adventure, we're gonna go to Zion, we're gonna go to Bryce, we're gonna hike the canyons, we're gonna do all this. And then the first full day here, and I'm just put down, I'm sick over here, you know, dizzy and, and worried about getting out of here. Don't take lightly the elevation out west. It's, uh, it's very real and it affects everyone differently. As it was, we try to drink a lot of water, get cooled off and just ease our way back a little bit at the time to the car. And we made a plan then. We're gonna have to get up in the mornings. We're gonna have to do a lot of stuff early and a lot of stuff late and try to take it easy during the hottest part of the day because that combination of heat and elevation, if you're not used to it, and we weren't, um, it, it can really get to you. After spending the rest of the day recouping, we did one final evening hike. We walked through the belly of the dragon, a half mile hike through a cave that is essentially a tunnel through a mountain. Careful, buddy. You got a flashlight in his pocket. rest of that day easy to get ready for the big day we had planned next. Day three, we got up early. 
early and got on the road right away because it's Bryce Canyon Day. Bryce is a national park that's arguably one of the most unique parks you can ever visit. I've had fun conversations with other people about favorite national park. Bryce has to be up there. It is, you just can't replicate that view. So we get there and we're on our way to the gate and right away we see this big mule deer. Hey bud. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know all the hunting videos we watch. He doesn't know he's supposed to look up. Hey, bud. <laughs> he's not seen any hunting he, videos. He does not can care. Can we get out? He yeah, as big a body as. Well, no. Well, no, think Good. about it. It ain't, right. it ain't uh, wow. the rut either. But now nah, he's going to have a nice set of horns. Wow. Oh, good job, Justin. That was super fun. Everybody's excited. Of course, we love animals, but we're really starting to realize, hey, we're going to see some fun stuff this trip. All right, so we're getting ready to hike through Bryce Canyon. Going down to the canyon and back up. It's going to be tough, but it's going to be fun. All right, see how it says you are here? Yes. We are going to walk down through this Navajo Loop, mm -hmm. through this Queen's Garden Trail, mm -hmm. come up at Sunrise Point, mm -hmm. and we're just going to walk back here to where the car is. Yeah. Make your loop, make your loop. I think we've come and full circle. Come over through, like right he is teaching his go dad a special time. way to make tie sure shoes. Not, make sure you go on the part where the thing is. When you pull them, it'll come untied like regular, but that will stay. It'll go one and go another one. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, let's go right. Well, then let's go here. The sun on it'll be pretty. Wow. Really is amazing. How are we going to get down there again?
<laughs> I didn't know what tree you're talking about. All of a sudden, you're around the corner. It's like, whoa. So we've got trees growing in the middle of this rock canyon. We got up early and we left at about 7 and we drove to Bryce Canyon and we have been hiking a loop through this fantastic, beautiful place. All right, we made it to the bottom of Bryce Canyon. Came down the Navajo Loop. We're just walking around enjoying the bottom of the canyon. And then we're going to take the easy way back up. And I do not, I do not care that it's the easy way out. It's starting to get hot. Well, when you get to the top of this, then you walk to where the vehicle is. I think I hear an echo. Say something. Hello! Yeah, it is a little yeah. echo. The vehicle's up there. Well, when we get on top, then you gotta walk back over up for the vehicle. It'll be on the road, it'll be flat. Remember all this flat, flat. Mom's flat. Mom, who is in wonderful shape and works very hard to take care of herself, can just take off anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's up, down, flat, not flat. And because she likes company on these adventures, we get these assurances of, oh yeah, yeah, it's flat. So we're a little skeptical. Hey Chip. Chippy. Are you Chip or Dale? The chipmunks were everywhere in the park. It was so neat to watch them just dart around. We did a little research during the course of the week, the differences between chipmunks and ground squirrels and various kinds of squirrels. If you want a little YouTube wormhole or Google wormhole, check that out. It's a lot of fun. But what we enjoyed was just watching these little guys dash around. So much fun. Feel easy to me. <laughs> Still a little steep. It's uphill any way you cut it. back up to the top of the ridge but we just realized that where we're going is all the way over there so I don't know if you can see that but it's a little discouraging when we still have to go way over there we've been at it a couple hours but hey you only get to do this once right oh they are on horses Well, we made it. We got all the way through the canyon and back up through Sunrise Point. And so if you ever get a chance to come out here, as you can see, this is incredibly unique. It's been a great morning. It took us about two and a half hours to hike from Sunset Point back behind us down through the bottom of the canyon and then back up at Sunrise Point. Had a great time. If you ever get out here, 
it's amazing to see all this unique terrain. And you don't have to do the three mile hike down through the canyon like we did. This trail right behind me walks along the rim. It's just a half mile that shows the crescent of the canyon and all the formations. Very, very unique sight. So definitely worth getting out here to, to check it out. After the tough hike back up, we got rested up, got ready to go again and did the scenic drive, this time just hopping out at different overlooks. We finally found water. It's taken long enough. A lot of dry red rock, but now we've got water. Bryce Canyon is divided into two areas, and you want to check out both areas if you ever go. We made it over to the area that has Mossy Cave. It's a very easy hike over to uh, a waterfall. Somebody's getting ready to walk across the... I know what he's up to. He's getting ready to cross but, this. But I'm for this being it. I'm going down right over there and walking over to Well, Joel decided to go to the waterfall directly. We had seen this waterfall on our previous Utah trip and it didn't have the uh, the same volume and so it was it was really impressive this time around. Mom and Jessica were the real adventurers. They took off their their way back behind the waterfall just having a great time. All of us enjoyed getting a little cool break during this really hot part of the day and just seeing the sights as this uh, this water pours over and then flows on down the creek alongside of us. And there's this mama behind the waterfall, just this right behind her. hiked back to Cascade Falls on our way back from Bryce. This is a, a, a bit of a tougher hike than Mossy Cave, but it, it has altogether different views than what we'd seen previously. Beautiful outlook all along the hike, and then there's this lovely waterfall, and we enjoy getting this end of day hike in, even though by this point we're getting pretty worn out. On our way to the waterfall, Cascade Falls. We wrapped up day three of the trip, grateful that we had seen this one-of-a-kind landscape and excited about we've got a lot of adventure left to come. If we're already seeing all this wildlife, this incredible scenery, I just want to push pause at this point in the trip, but there's so much more to come and our excitement was really high for more great adventure.